Hello everybody and welcome to a tutorial video for Gary Grigsby's War in the West, a sequel to the highly, highly regarded war game War in the East, which I did a, a tutorial video of, but I really should do another one. Uh, this one is mainly focused on, well of course in the West, while the previous one was all about Operation Barbarossa and the Axis invasion into Russia, while this one is primarily focused on such as Normandy and Italy. Today, uh, well tonight, I'm just going to be doing a video based on, <clears throat> well not based on, uh, showing you how to operate the air system, because in this one, the air system is uh, so much more complicated than the previous one. So, let's get started. I'm just going to be starting with the introductory scenario, I'm, I'll only do one or two turns. Okay. Now when you start it up, you get all these, um, you'll get this panel here, which is basically the AI variant of creating targets for your air forces. Um, over here you have Tactical Air North Europe and Mediterranean, which is Italy, and, <clears throat> and uh, Northern Europe, which is based on, you know, Normandy and the northern coast of Germany. You can see the different, different types of attacks that can start. Now basically in this scenario, you have to just bomb the fuck out of the uh, uh, manpower resources, oil, and fuel. And so, which will be over in strategic air. Basically, these two here are regard, regards into units and these into, into strategy, strategic bombing, which is, you know, basically infrastructure. So, now the ground attack will just set this to low, we'll ignore all of these because it doesn't have anything to do with it. This is amphib support, which I will probably do in another video, which is all about um, air support in amphibious invasions. Now, this um, none, low, medium, high, of course. We'll, pro we'll change the air, direct the air directives in a minute, just to... Um, be a little bit more focused, but this is base. This will basically just um, pre-plan it for you initially, and you can just um, adjust based on what the AI thinks you want. So you can set these air directives, assign yes, and it'll basically just run through it all. You can just um, have them manage your air base units, so just do that. Over here I have your summary, and you can see what the AI has selected for you in a very basic um, view. So we can click out of this. Now, our main focus... Oh, I hate moving the map in this. Alrighty. Now, here's our main air forces, and my, our main point of attack will be over here, because that's where the AI has set up, I'm guessing. Let's have do into here. Over here, you can see your air fo forces. And this one has a lot more firebombs, so let's just select the US Air Force. Now, up here are the, is the um, air directives that it has set out for you. So the AI has chosen two bomb cities over here, in Hamburg, here and there. The green here is essentially the area where the bombers will go. Now, there are two types, the game separates air directives into two things. It has the air directive, which is the target, and air doctrine, which is down here, which basically decides um, how the mission is done. You can set the amount of strikes, its altitude, priorities, whatever the fuck those are, I don't really remember, I think this is the path. Alright. Now let's look over here. Now our main object of the game is to, to take out lots of factories. Now, I don't think around, around here has a lot of heavy industry that we're interested in that might let's take a look let's just get out of that let's look at cologne yep it has some industry and research resource attack so we could possibly move the main point of attack and set reset the area so let's go back into the bomb it oh, fuck off 
I really do hate it when get. No, I don't want that. Piss off. Piss off. Oh my god. Reselect that. Oh yes, right clicking. Duh. It, they've changed the control things a bit. So, let's select this one. We can change the target and set it over. Where's Cologne? Where'd it go? Shit, I seem to have lost it. Oh, there it is. Let's set it over here in Dusseldorf. Change the area. Let's say three hexes. And yep, that encompasses pretty much this entire industrial complex. We can set the intensity to high, which changes the amount of airstrikes that we'll do in a single day. Air groups, um, that's a little bit complicated. Uh, but you can essentially just choose what types of um, all the the bombers you can assign to it. How do I get out of this bit in here? Uh, fuck. Done? Yes. Okay. Um... You can change the minimum requirements of the weather, but this will also change the groups that will be available. So let's just do that all. That's the air base all set up. Now, target priorities. Over here says just about how much is in the um, is in the area that you set. So as you can see, there is no oil, so we'll get rid of that. There is lo not as much fuel, so we'll set that to low. And our priorities want to be on resources, and I think that, I can't remember what that is. There's so many fucking acronyms and shortening in this. So, I'm happy with that. Bomb area. Now, let's have a look at what is in this. Target priorities. Lots of manpower. Uh, not much resources. Oil, yes. Fuel. Uh, we'll s lower the area. To say... T no, 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 not two. Three. I think this will change based on the area, the amount of targets you have. Maybe. I don't know. Okay. Now I have, I'm happy with the US, US Air Force's bombing targets right at the moment. So, your next order of business is to set around with a recon. Basically, this is in regard to these... Oh, bomb city. Yeah. Basically, this changes... Um, recon is imperative into maximizing your bombing. Because if you do the recon before you start bombing the cities, it basically means that your bombers will have a higher chance of hitting a target and causing more damage. Which is, I think, you can manipulate to change the schedule of the recon. Let's say you recon day one, bomb day two, recon day three, bomb day four. I think they'll maximize your amount of damage that will cause, but I can't really be fucked to do that right now. Well, I probably should. Okay, so let's go back into the bomb, have a look at what it's going on, what it's going to do. The US Air Force? What the fuck? Ah, oh, god damn it, moves the bombing settings. I don't know why this is a con... Yeah, it's a bit annoying. Sometimes it does this. I haven't really figured out the, the, the controls yet, but you should get the idea <laughs> of what's going on. It's a little bit retarded. Um, let's select the target hex again. Let's just do it up there. Target priority. Uh, whatever. Good enough. Uh, I don't care. Yep, confirm it. I'm happy with that. Ben, I'll clear that out. That's still good. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, that's that's what I did wrong. I know what I did wrong. Now, let's go back. Please tell me it's okay. Yep, you click this when you're done. You don't click out here when you're done with the. Okay, let's look at this one. We're just gonna focus on this one, on this uh, area, for now, just to explain. Now, it's bombing on day two, five, and seven. So let's see if we can set up a recon for day one. 
Let's set up a recon for over here again. Ah, ah yep, yeah, I see. Mm, let's set for day one. I can't remember. No, oh, but that should work. Okay. Um, oh, altitude. I th you can change it. Um, Basically, the higher the altitude, there's less chance to hit, but the lower you go, chances you'll get more flak attacking you. You can check the defense rating after... Yeah, look at all that fucking defense there. Attach to the city. So we're probably gonna get fair amount of damage to it. No, 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 don't change it. Let's increase the area to four. Um, confirm. There we go. As I said, this isn't optimized, I'm just basically showing how you do this. Now, number one broad note, you can basically do the same thing for all up here, which is ground support, which basically um, targets friendly hexes for um, your own units. Ground attack, which basically attacks enemy units. Uh, bombing, recon, ooh, air superiority. Now, we want to set up a fair amount of superiority superi uh, superiority to protect the bombers so we'll do that over here and increase the yep uh, no, 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 no. let's change that top change the hex no change it up here okay um, advantage options yep confirm now, to, you can see the amount of, let's see if that, no, is it that one? No, it's one of these. It's basically an overlay which shows you all the, all the targets, I'm just trying to find it to show you what it means. Um, shush! Um, I must look absolutely ridiculous. There it is. Show air directive targets. Um, there you go. Now we can see all the things here. Superiority bombs. Holy shit, that target is huge. Who is that? It's RAF Bomber Command. Let's adjust that. That is a bit ridiculous. Target priorities, uh, uh, bomb city. Uh, we'll keep it like that for now because why the fuck not? I don't really care. Now, when you're done fiddling and failing at everything, you press F1 to go into the overall screen. You press this and execute the air directives. This will just take a minute to do its thing. Oh, hey, yep, it's doing its recon. Let's see if I'm... Oh, this is gonna take a while. Oh my god, it's only that. Um, I would suggest skipping the video at this point until it just gets the scrap out of it. Because I, cha I think I changed the, um, uh, message settings. But, oh, well, we can see what's happening anyway. We start bombing something. Get a better look when the next bombing run comes up. There's some air combat. I think my guys are getting creamed right now. Wait, no, they're not, no, no, no. That's me, that's him. Yep, look, there's some damage happening there. Oh my god, it's only a 10%. Can I change it? No, I can't. Fuck. I'm sorry, but you'll just have to wait a few minutes. 
I would suggest fucking skip. I have my cup of tea here anyway. I tried this scenario before and I only managed to get a draw. It's because I'm not used used to um, this screen yet. I've only really started learning how to play it today because I only read the manual when I was doing my DNA extractions in the lab at uni. Okay, I did I do really love War in the East, but it's such a massive game. I think I think this is even bigger because in War of the East you could only just like bomb a city on the other occasion and transfer air air units. It did not This went from zero to one hundred in regards to air detail. But I suppose that's fair enough because this has less of a focus on uh, on land combat. Overall I think I do prefer War in the East because I just do love land combats, and I just have a much more vast interest in the Eastern theatre than the Western. You know, Zarod no Zastal na Hibisio. Um, maybe it wasn't a bad idea to, um, to not change it because you're still getting the, some of the information about what's happening but this is taking its sweet fucking time I am not gonna I should have just gotten up and made a f another fucking cup of tea or something Ooh, excuse me Uh, if you do, if you do have any questions, um, feel free to leave a comment, and I will get back to you like, as soon as I can because I don't have a life. I have the manual open up, opened up right in front of me, but it's not that good. That's the problem. Even the tutorial videos that they give you, it just has this dry, old, crusty motherfucker that doesn't really talk about each individual detail. He just sort of goes on like one turn in the Operation Husky introduc introductory scenario. It's not as good as, um, yeah, war games really do suffer from a lack of decent tutorials, and that's what my videos aim to do. It actually gives videos that don't suck balls. There was one game that I really wanted, that I really wanted to play called... It fucking froze! Oh. Don't you dare freeze. Yeah, you know what? I think it fucking froze. It's having a... This game is being a bit of a crashy little bitch to me. So, you know what? I'm just going to end the video right here. And, um, hopefully you got a decent idea of how to manage your aircraft in a very haphazard way. Um, I'll do another tutorial video in, a, in Operation Husky. But... Yeah, I hope you got a general idea. Uh, thank you for watching. Leave a comment. Uh...